I want you to know that it's not a sin for you to aspire to be great. No. Just ensure that in your greatness, that God is the center of it all. Greatness can only be cheap to only those that dare to try, and those that dare to build others, and also dare, those that dare to take certain kind of risks, not to be selfish. When others are walking and talking, criticizing others, afraid of their mistakes, you dare to keep building yourself improving on yourself make yourself a gold mine personal development is one of the greatest key that every organization everyone look upon in people there is no organization that employ people that are useless no if they do it's because they see a potential in you they think they can build if you can work on yourself they will pay for that build up times two one of the easiest way we work on ourselves is when we work together as brethren there are things that esteem or no there are things that ah welcome sir band leader there are things that only band leader know there are things that only lama knows lama became very important when we need somebody on those engine if you go there we may never start this meeting today so with that a very big organization can employ him because the ceo may be a ceo but his sense is useless when it comes to electrical things you must understand that one of the easiest way for you to rise in life is to learn how to serve service is greatness as you serve in the house of the lord serve with diligence don't be looking out for what you will get all of those things will come later serve in diligence and let brotherly love always continues very important set up your goals many people don't have goals i don't know why the most time when i talk with people from rural environment my challenge with them is that they don't have goals i mean if you tell them they are going to be great they look at it as a very big prophecy and i'm like no this is unpredictable everyone you see today that make any tremendous impact set a goal desire it many people are just praying they don't set any goal if you ask them what do you want to do in the next 10 years they can't tell you if you ask them why did you even go to the school you go to they don't even know at all you didn't serve while people were while i went to school i took advantage of my school as a training ground while i went to serve my service place was a training ground you must ensure that wherever you find yourself you should be able to be deliberate about it and set goals and keep it to that place do you know that where you are today you can do something that will help you actualize your dreams of the next 10 years we don't set goals that's why we depend where we are don't just only take to the bar workers village no global every man that is great today begin from a village he makes his village a global place is that okay now you must understand that it's not a sin for you to begin small but when you remain small and refuse to aspire to rise more than further you are wrong you are limiting god never stop dreaming because you make a mistake a lot of people believe that mistake is the boss is the word boss stop great men are challenged and inspired by their mistakes and their failures i have failed several times to be here and i'm still failing i fail every day and do you know a lot of times i'm waiting for my next failure do you know why because there are things that only my failures can teach me as wise as you are if you try new things you will still fail i get what i'm saying now as easy as playing keyboard may be to silas if i mount that keyboard now i assure you will leave this place i will fail but if i continue to try forgetting about my failure and my mistakes i will get it done you must understand that a lot of times you will learn more by failing let your failures not stop you no let your mistakes not stop you who cares that you make two three mistakes who has never made a mistake before do you know god himself say i regretted that i created man <laughs> when i read that i was like really god why would you regret that you create us i thought you are the alpha or the omega i mean in your plan you should not have regret inside but god regretted that a man is very complicated the reason why we make mistakes and fail is because we are complicated we are wonderfully 
and marvelously made. So you will never know yourself fully well till the day you die. You will still be wondering. There are times you do certain things you wonder, is it me? It's because you are learning new things. So don't be afraid to fail. Fail and rise again. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. When you make the mistake, keep moving forward. Don't pay attention to critics. Don't stop because of them. I have hardly never seen a man that is great today that is not criticized. Never. That's why I start with you on the platform of Awisti Project. Why? Because whether you like it or not, in the house of God, there are critics. In your office, there are critics. In your business line, there are critics. You cannot stop these people. The only way to stop them is to forget about them. And what? Face your front. If you have learned anything in 2021, number one is to mind your business. Learn how to mind your business. Many of us have entered trouble on the basis of not minding our business. You are passing on the road, you see somebody beating a mad woman, you went to join, they beat you, join. And now they say you are the one that started the beating. If you have mind your business, judge and begin to move. That would not have happened. I understand the concept of brotherly love. But there are times that Jesus Christ did not say anything. There are times that Jesus Christ did not even do anything. There are many times that Jesus Christ mind his business. You must learn to mind your business. Many of you put mouth in things that does not concern you. You become the habitat of gossip. Somebody come with your house and open the files and archives of plenty of people. People like that don't last long. Anybody that talk about people will never last long. Because one day will come. Nobody will trust him again. That is just the way life works. Critics are cheap what i mean by they are cheap is this there are people that desire to be where you are and they are not so they talk about your progress the only way to silence them is to continue to progress as you mind your business focus them all focus keep moving forward never never lose your clarity of direction and vision if you leave what you are doing and focus on the critics i'm assuring you you will end up not achieving one goal. A lot of times I hear people say this about me, say that, say this. Do you know I don't take it to heart? Thank God I'm not even a lady. No, women, you can say one thing and they will go and think about it for the next six months. I don't have that time. In fact, the things I tell you right now, I've forgotten them most times. Why? Because the things that are bubbling in my mind, the ideas and the things that are coming every day, I don't have time for that kind of idleness for it to become a devil workshop that the devil is working all kinds of things inside no you must learn not to pay attention to something that some people have said that is negative yes they say you have a very big head and so what use that big head to prove to them that for out of your big head many things will come out i get what i'm saying now you don't know who did most of the invention you have today maybe the phone you have today we are created by people that have big head Maybe the clothes you are putting today is from a CEO that has big head. You don't understand. Maybe the shoe you are putting today is somebody with a big head that actually made it. So, what is your problem with big head? Or they say you are dark like me. How does that concern you? It's because you are not important that they are saying that. The day Obama became the president, nobody opened his mouth and stand by him and say you are a black man. If not, the person may end up in jail. You don't give air to critics. You keep on what? Moving forward. Mind your business and continue to move forward. Is that okay now? As long as you can keep going and keep moving forward, you will aspire for greatness and you become great. The goal is never to stop. Never to be stagnated. Every great man is a man that will not stop. Every failure stop somewhere and every great man start where others have stopped i need you to understand that if you truly want to become great let nothing stop you from moving forward of course stars shine differently all stars are not the same do you understand don't force yourself huh, to be depressed because somebody is doing better than you no rather be challenged be inspired to continue to rise to even become better or to be at least to the degree to which the person is great there are a million or a billion 
great people in this world you don't know all of them you can be one of them one man cannot be great alone is a lie there are billions of people that are great you can be part of them but you can never be if you look down on yourself you can never be if you refuse to work on yourself very very important since we are in the church settings number one key for you to utilize people and rise and end up that you actually also impact them is to understand that we are what brethren and if you cannot truly answer this question whether are you truly really brethren then i don't know what you are doing in this fellowship if you are the reason for the division in the fellowship we are not brethren with you it's earlier enough that you would have left and if not then utilize yourself and answer the question if we are brethren let's walk as brethren let's love each other let's walk with each other let's do things together don't criticize the other if you cannot help them stop hurting them let them like that if you can't clap for them at least watch them from a distance is that okay now finally for the guys these ladies are not demons and delilahs a lot of times guys look at ladies as some kind of bomb about to explode or poison that when you take you will die no part of your responsibility as brothers is to also be able to show love to the sisters brotherly love is filio you can also have that with um, sisters many many men many guys have bad relationship with ladies bad if you come close to ladies that I want to sleep with her you can never just be a normal friend with a lady building her equipping her guiding her and giving to her vision helping her on her arts or her business no when you come close you just want to do damage how would that lady remind remember you in the next five years and think of you we must be able to ensure that we are what brethren if we are truly a brethren we should live as one okay may the lord help us and strengthen us thank you so much i hope i didn't speak so much can we celebrate can we celebrate